G'day humans, Chris Stead here. Today, I'm gonna to take you into the Withings press conference in Sydney. Withings is a health-focused technology company out of France who have been steadily chipping away making some really great TGA-approved medical grade technology to help you monitor your health uh, here in Australia and also abroad. Now, they've got some new product coming out on the horizon and we've got a brief glimpse at it uh, at this conference and that's the Withings U-Scan which is a urine scanning piece of tech that you put in your toilet and mine has a whole bunch of important things to do with your health, but I'm not gonna tell you too much, I'm gonna let them talk you through it. Uh, so in this video, you're gonna see uh, the conference as it was uh, kind of the speech that was put forward to us, the journalists in the room, uh, and also listen to some conversations between me uh, and the men responsible for this uh, really interesting piece of technology that I think is gonna make a big difference when it releases later in 2024. Let's jump in. Super happy to be here with you today. So we'll work you through Willings, uh, our latest innovation, and we'll have a demo session at the end if you if you want to see the products uh, live. Teddy, thank you, Mathieu. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm uh, Teddy. I'm in charge of the consumer uh, business at uh, Willings, and it's a great pleasure to, to be here today. What's next? I'm just going to give you a glimpse at two new categories we're going to introduce in Australia later this year. And with that, we have announced already at CES, so some of you know them. First being the U-Scan. So U-Scan is the world's first and free urine analysis lab. So right from your toilet bowl, you'll be able to have your urine analyzed without doing anything, but just sitting there on the toilet bowl. I can explain you later on how it works. It's already six years in the making, so it's our largest and most uh, complex development so far. It will focus on the nutrition aspect, so to understand your metabolism. But later on, it will have more medical use cases such as kidney stone disease or urinary tract infection. That's for Q4. You know, I'm, talking, I'm talking about Australia. Analyze any kind of uh, analytes, any kind of uh, yeah, uh, things you have in urine. But basically, for that, you need uh, cartridges. Inside, you have miniaturized patent uh, strips. So those strips actually react to urine through a chemical reaction that the product is actually analyzing. So your question, sorry. Do you have to clean it? How, yeah, how you have to clean it. So, so, sorry, so yeah, I, was, okay. I was going to the technical. So, <laughs> uh, but basically, the, the answer is you just have to change your cartridge, yep. recharge it. And you have uh, some kind of accessories where you just put it and okay. it will stay in a liquid that will actually sanitize it every three months. So that's it. And you don't have to touch it, you just grab it yeah. from the hook yeah. and, right. and you put it in the box. So it does its thing. Yeah, yeah. it's supposed to do its thing. Yeah. Okay. And we'll ship gloves with each new cartridge anyway. <laughs> And so the over time, you said it's future proof. So over time, do you envisage it? being able to, de to detect different things yeah, in people's Yeah, exactly. Urine. So yeah. in this case, so we'll start with two cartridges, yeah. the NutriSync one and the CycleSync one. Yeah. So NutriSync is about your uh, nutrition. nutrition, exactly. So we'll have, you'll follow three uh, metabolites, three uh, biomarkers, mm -hmm. being uh, the pH, uh, the hydration, the vitamin C and the ketones. Okay. okay? So that gives you an overall uh, uh, snapshot of your uh, nutrition metabolism, how it works, intake versus uh, urine outtakes. Yeah. And cycle sync basically will tell you uh, for the woman's health uh, your cycle and uh, actually to, to be in sync with that. So you won't have to actually log anything or because yeah, because this is based on LH peak for those who, who know that. And that's the two use cases, but like I mentioned briefly. There are a huge interest on the B2B, on the healthcare population. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're already working, we have clinical trials ongoing, as we speak with the USCAM, uh, for CKD, so those, this is a chronic kidney disease, so mm -hmm. kidney stones disease, and UTI, so the urinary uh, tract infection, especially on the elderly population. Yeah. 
So the ongoing trial are with the Imperial College in London and with the Delaware uh, Firefighters Institute. It's amazing. So yeah, my point is, uh, yeah, we'll ship new cartridges with new chemical reaction in it, yeah. but this will allow to, to read and analyze every, every cartridge. Amazing. Thank you. Um, so does that mean that you wouldn't be able to track your cycle and the health, of the, uh, not the health, the um, nutrition at the same time, you'd have to pick which one you wanted to track? Or you can buy two phones. Yes. Yeah. And if there was more than one person in the household who wanted to use it, so you you have to buy a second one for them and like put them both. Th that's one option. Technically speaking, it could be multi-user. It's just that as a start, this is a new product, new category. We don't know how people will use it, so we need to learn. Actually, it's just the beginning for everyone and for weddings. So we'll try. We we'll start with a single use case, single user mode, and we'll see how it goes. So there's a possibility down the line it might one day work for multiple. Absolutely, possibility. Possibility. <laughs> yeah. Just around um, obviously the more data is collected, um, the more I guess the concerns that people might have about the security of the data. So yeah. first off, will all of this data be available to things like Apple Health and uh, Google as well? Secondly, how do we know that our data is going to be secure? So on the security side, this is uh, of the utmost importance for us. So we, are, in order to get TGA and FDA clearances, we need to go through ISO norms of cyber security and security storage, such as you might know them, it's called IPA in the US and HDS in Europe. So we are up to those standards and we have yearly audit uh, in the company. We also uh, store the data internally, so the clouds are our clouds, it's not Google Cloud or Amazon actually, it's the servers are in-house, and we encrypt those servers ourselves, they are based in Paris, uh, so that's also a key differentiator, and actually it was a requirement for, for the French government in order to start working with us, uh, and for clinical studies to conduct. Um, so that's for the security, and for the data flow, basically, um, it's not only up to us. So Weddings will give you the ability to share the data you want throughout the Apple Health and the Google Health Connect uh, API. But as a user, you can choose which data points you want or you don't want to, to share. That's through the settings. And uh, things you need to know is that Apple actually is the one controlling what you can share. So they create the uh, data points on their system, on their database, if they are actually we are discussing with them for them to create you know, uh, urine data points such as vitamin C, uh, hydration, stuff like this. As of today, there is no such data point in Apple Earth, so we cannot sync. But we already opened a discussion channel like two years ago. We were meeting them regular, on a regular basis, but you know, Apple, uh, they do what they want. <laughs> then, uh, that's fine. But actually, we're willing to, to give you the, the power and your data so you can do whatever you want with it. You can even erase it. There's the option uh, within the app uh, to just download all your data and erase it. Yeah, I should not say that. <laughs> I, I noticed that you scan, is it Q4? Yes. Q1 next year. Correct. Is that is that a delay because you have to wait for TGA approval? Or is yes. That why? <laughs> so the only reason is the the, the clearance to and the, the clearance time it will take. Uh, it takes a long time. Yeah, but I saw you scan. Was it CES last year? Yeah, it takes time. So it takes time. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Vimo uh, got four measurements, so it's it's like you have four clearances in one. Yeah. So it, it takes a very long time. But you're confident? 80%? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. That's quite high, no? <laughs> uh, I mean, I have no crystal ball, I, I cannot say for sure. But uh, uh, we have, I think, uh, a good uh, background, a good uh, track record with the TGA. I think we're getting to know them uh, better and better every year. Uh, we have many products on the field. Uh, they audit us on a regular basis to see what we call PMS, post-market study in order to see in real life if what we claim is actually real uh, and in certain case we have to conduct post-market clinical studies in order to, 
to show that uh, real life data are uh, in accordance to the clinical trial data that we submitted. So this is a, a quite a long journey with, the, with those uh, regulators, uh, but it, I think it works. And there are a lot of things we can control, but TG timing is not something in our hands. So we say Q125 because it's something could it, could it be sooner? It could be sooner or it could be later, but uh, yeah. we are confident uh, once we have the CE clearance, the TG is better than CE clearance, so once we have that, can accelerate, so yeah. Yeah. It's a future proof product, so tomorrow we'll be able to, we could basically uh, track everything we can into urine. Urine is a very powerful stream of ID, more than 4,000 metabolites in urine. It's non-invasive compared to blood, for example. Um, and what we want to do is in the, in the future, there is no doubt that we'll, be, we'll have much more use cases and maybe a drug control or spot, uh, it could be part of it. Is that something you've looked into? Because like, we, we didn't look into it yet, because there are so many things to do. Yeah. What we want to do first, our, our, our first mission is to make sure we can put this product into as much hands as possible, as much toilet as possible, if I would say, yeah. <laughs> in order to test it in real life, in real condition, to see what is the market's feedback from that, what the user's feedback are, and how we can improve. There is a lot to do on this product to improve. Uh, it's not a scale. We are perfectly. We perfectly know how to to build and to uh, to conceive a scale. We are doing it for 15 years, and we are leader on this one. But on this urine analysis, it's something that is brand new. So a lot of things to learn. But yeah, in the future, uh, no doubt, uh, we can have other. Yeah, and we know that today the urine test uh, is a very, very. Uh, uh, not easy to do itself. Uh, the last time I had to do, uh, to do urine test was like years ago, and it's very, uh, it's not very uh, comfortable to do. You know, you have to uh, pin this uh, small stuff, to go to the lab, to go back, etc. You receive a report, you don't understand anything about that. Uh, so our goal is to make it much more easier uh, and to, yeah, uh, from the comfort of your home, just uh, using the device as if you were just going to the toilet like a normal, uh, a normal way. So, um, and the analysis is pretty quick. It's like now between around five minutes. It depends on uh, it depends on the on the which way markers you are tracking because what you uh, what we know is that the chemical reaction is not the same time for each biomarker. Yeah. Okay, so some of them are very quick. Some yeah. of them needs to be needs to last a bit longer in order to have the right results. Yeah. And then uh, so yes, urine is collected. Just a few words. Urine is collected here, so no matter where you pee, uh, you have a sip of urine collected here. Then you have a microfluidic journey inside the device. Microfluidic journey inside the device. The urine goes, so this is this rotates. The urine goes into one of these strips that you have here. Then a chemical reaction is happening. We have an optical reader that is reading the chemical reaction, and then a Wi-Fi that is sending it directly to your uh, to your app. And in a few uh, in a few months, you have all the results. And what did you say were the three things that are unique about someone's urine stream? The stream ID. The stream ID. So it's the speed, speed, the velocity, and the spread. And the spread. Yeah. Speed, so velocity, and spread. Yeah. Different position. for every person. No speed, speed and velocity are the same. Okay. Speed, so spread, speed, and dispersion. Dispersion. Sorry. Dispersion. Speed, yeah. dispersion, and the point of mixing. So where it starts. That's going to fascinate just about everyone. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we just, uh, I'd love to see the results after like a like you went out in the town and drank 30 beers and then came back and you were just like hitting it for five minutes <laughs> like what, yeah, <laughs> what, is, what, is, that's why we, what does it say you just start setting up alarms does it like what were yeah. you doing that's why we haven't taken the, the time as a criteria <laughs> <laughs> yeah but we found uh, actually we started this uh, this data acquisition uh, with uh, a few employees internally and we very quickly discovered that the urine signature was unique you know it was just with internal testing that we realized it was possible and so we we kept on betting on this uh, on this feature and actually now it's, it's it'd be really interesting if you can develop these things to test um, for performance enhancing drugs for sport but also for Recreational drugs as well. Yeah, exactly. We've been uh, asked a lot about this use case: yeah. drugs, drugs uh, monitoring, yeah. and also uh, medicine. You know, to see if actually you take, you took your pill. Oh yeah, like so, like observance for the to make yeah. sure that actually you're following uh, the medication you're on. There's a big topic in Australia. Those right are now. two big topics as well. I mean, actually, when you start with urine, uh, it's, uh, it's quite endless. Yeah. So we have to focus on a few things at first. And also we need to learn, you know, with the real users. 
how they actually uh, use the product, how they react to it, because it's brand new. Huh? Yeah, yeah. That's great. And this would sound like toilet cleaner or whatever. If someone wants to yes. clean the toilet, do they have to take this out? No. Just don't don't pour the whole bottle on okay. it, but uh, it's 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 resistant to the cleaning. Uh,